great to be here at the Puma Cricket Studio and great to be here with, uh, with Ishan Sharma who uh, played for India when, <laughs> if I remember when you were 19 <laughs> and he still says he's only 24 And I am 24 so don't <laughs> listen what he said And the first question I have for you, do you remember uh, every dismissal? Who is your favourite batsman that you have dismissed? <laughs> um, and is there a dismissal that you remember better than others? I think it's only one dismissal I can't really forget that my 100 test wicket, it's really special for me. Who was it? Uh, Darren Sammy. Darren Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> Currently playing with us at, <laughs> at Sunrises. You also remember certain things. My most memorable dismissal as a batsman, which I would like to forget but I can't, is I got out caught at extra cover of Michael Hussey in a test match. Well, Sangha, even I have a question for you. Uh, what are the three best legends you ever heard? Because you know that Australians are famous for all these things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only Australians. <laughs> but I've been asked this question a lot because for some reason everyone thinks I, I sledge a lot and I don't. Um, maybe when I was inexperienced at the, at the start. Um, but there have been some classic um, lines um, and one of the most memorable ones involved Edo Brandes and, and Glenn McGraw apparently and it's something <laughs> and, a, and a biscuit. Uh, and being overweight and it's something that you can't say on, on public <laughs> TV. The other thing that everyone notices about Ishan, other than the fact that he's really tall, uh, is, is his long hair. But being a fast bowler, you know, with your long hair, is it a problem to bowl with long hair? Because you know, you're supposed to watch where you pitch and most of the time in your follow through, your hair falls over, you don't know what's coming at you. Imagine the batsman hits a straight drive back at you. You are the captain, you see me from the while doing a wicket keep. Did you ever see that I have a problem with my hair? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, but you've had longer hair than this, I think. No, I think it's a cool style for me. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. happy with it. <laughs> okay, fine. So it doesn't doesn't really, it, it's to do with fashion. Yeah, obviously. I think everyone, everyone, even you go, you know, when I saw you somewhere, maybe you had a long hair as well. Yeah, yeah. So I, I saw hair. you once and yeah. you had a quite long yeah, hair. So I was you know, young. Maybe, you know, I'm trying to copy you. Yeah. So maybe, that, that, one day I can become a captain and, as well. And, and, and that is true because if you take a lot of the cricketers around the world, you know, a lot of them have lost hair. And you're lucky to have hair. So I I'm think you should keep really, it long really for a while. Lucky. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm not going to cut my hair. That's, yeah. Which is the costiest uh, dropping catch. Ooh, actually, there's been quite a few. <laughs> there's been quite a few. I remember. I remember one. I'll, I'll never forget that. Uh, 2003 World Cup. We were playing Australia in the semi-finals in Port Elizabeth. We have Australia 60 for five. Andrew Simons comes into bat. He was on about 11, I think, and he went down the wicket to Sanjay Jayasuriya, missed the ball. It's probably the easiest thumping you can ever wish for. I missed it. They went on to get, uh, Simon's got a 90. They went on to get 200 down and we, we, we were out of, the, out of the World Cup. So that's probably the costliest miss. Any other people in the dressing room, you know, in, in the team, you get all sorts of people. Do you have anyone who's really funny, who plays pranks? I think at the moment, you know, uh, Virat Kohli is the one, I think, the one thing he can do really well is, you know, he copy everyone really nice. <laughs> Every single player he can copy. <laughs> so I think he's the kind of, you know, jolly type of person. Okay. So he copies everyone. He's the kind of guy who creates the really nice atmosphere in the dressing room. Okay. Yeah, and obviously, you know, we have Uvipa. And obviously he can also imitate players quite well. <laughs> <laughs> so Sangha, what do you think? Who's the most entertaining cricketer you have in your dressing room, in Sri Lankan dressing room? Uh, well, most entertaining as a player, definitely Sanat Jayasuri. I haven't seen anyone anyone bat like him. Uh, I, I've seen him embarrass uh, embarrass bowlers. Um, one was unfortunately um, Manoj Prabhakar, who bowled off spin after bowling medium pace. The other guy is Murali, and he's always talking in the dressing room. So we never sit next to him before we go out to bat, because he'll come bring his chair right next to you and say, "Asanga," you know. Don't drive. Uh, be careful of pulling. Oh, he's bowling well, isn't he? He's quick. It's turning. To be careful. Don't go down the track. So ultimately, you're left with no shots to play, other than a forward, other than a forward defense. What's the best piece of advice you've ever ever received? So I think the best advice I got from my father, like even if you play hundred test matches or you play, or you play or you don't play, still be the same. Be the down to earth guy. So because that's the key. 
which is going to take you over the long period of time in any situation, any game or even you are playing cricket or whatever it is. So I think that's the really good thing that my father taught me. So Zanga, you've been married for a quite long time. 10 years. 10 years, that's a long time. Huh? That is a long time. And I heard few stories like you, that's a, you have a love marriage or something. Yes. So, so uh, how did you propose her or something? So that means you are quite romantic, no? No. Uh, <laughs> she'll say yes. She's, you know what my wife will say? My wife will say yes, I was romantic before I got married. And not anymore. You know, this, this That's is what I heard from every <laughs> year. <laughs> yeah, we met, uh, we met when you were quite young, about 17. So I've been with her 18 years, which is a long time. And oh. I should be given a present. As I tell my wife, I should be given an award, but she doesn't agree with me. Uh, but. Uh, I proposed to my wife in Australia uh, at a restaurant called the Stoke House oh. in St. Kilda. That's Saint nice Kilda. of you still remember the name. I, of the I remember, I remember the name, uh, you know, things like that, you know, like uh, the day you proposed, the day you got married, when your children were born, you know, I think those days you don't, you don't easily forget. So yes, I, uh, I've had my romantic moments um, and yeah, so hopefully the romance is not dead yet. So, um, yeah, so, but you'd like to ask, ask your Harley that when you, when you see her next. Ask her, I'm sure she'll say yes, you know. <laughs> I'm you sure she's going to say yes. She had enough of you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. You never know. And it's also time you got married. 24, I think, is an ideal age for Ishan Sharma to get married. Uh, I and don't if think anyone's so. watching this, nah. all the girls out there who like Isha, you know, write in, email, find him, you know. I think he's ready, ready to settle down and, Not and yet. you know. Still long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you for your time, and it is it is great having this chat. And uh, thank you to Puma Cricket Studio. We we're here, and thank you to Puma for for being part of the the sunrises yep. this year. Thank you very much.